Come on, Roach. I'll get it. Faster. Place of power. Should draw from it. Come on now. Thank you. 
No witcher, I say what they will. Me, I'll never forget what you did for us. <laughs> Some malady's trying to grip me. Uh. Where'd you come from? Hey, well met. <laughs> Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Farewell. You know, Witcher. Oh, 
can say Nothing one left but to pray. Me beg evil oh, spares. Man. Greetings! Farewell. Nothing left but to pray. Beg evil spares us at least. Damn sits and yolo tree. Blue inside her devilish bee. Drinks it down in greedy slow. Then come word of I knows what I know. Whoa! Elsa. That's it, Roach. Come on now. Yes? Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her Swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bare his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Neneke refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word, gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here? Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed, but... 
You saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Yes? Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Tell me something about yourself. Us at Do I? We must. Hmm. There was a bo Nenek. Farewell. Yes? Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Yes? Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her. Deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn.
Yes? Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Farewell. Hey there. Ah! Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took him down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister go. attending to the birth. And you don't fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt! Ah! 
Leave me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. We didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y yen How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible.
even know. I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... Uh... Right now! to the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Catwin. Please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Foltest ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to 
an assassin of kings. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes, and... A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there, and once again meddled in the affairs of the Mighty. The Mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please. Affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the General's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Where are my clothes? Where well, they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit.
Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes? It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Im Grimi et Art Kerzer, Daifen Aden in Karn eb Marvut, Emir var Emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian Namin, what can favort? I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war? to discuss a rumor. I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that, after the audience. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me. Yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd!
Take him to the sorceress. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace, whom the gentleman... Disgusts. ...need not bother. Morning. Mean to and me, it's Adeta. past noon. Calm yourself. What? What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevard II, Prince of Elanda. Not only yeah. am I made to wait here like I'm some named. supplicant. Rad Sliden eh enet estun es saur am main fire. Es el. Kata. Es es sid efs. Es en en ma. Es a vat ga. Es a ma estre. Es a vat. Es fen es guin. Kin web reina gat en selfe den gaste, es et lenten et not mache, en selfe den sikiate. Kaspa ken du belede, tu meva. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Tu caspicobaro, plen esse passe. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild. But the Church of the Eternal Fire and the Criminal Underworld. At times it is difficult to tell the one. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't? Not a bit? <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd tricked them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood, her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. 
What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in Black Velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edurn was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace. Perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoys, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes. 
and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality, enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm hmm So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is... rather... well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance. And scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome. But nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path.
How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
Wouldn't mind a few rounds of... Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. And Vatgan, Vakalm.
Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest.